that's it. I, I'm done. I quit. You know what, guys? I love platformers. I really do. Some of them are really good and are really addictive, while others don't even try to be good and want you to smash your phone into a wall. Sonic CD is one of the good ones. Kinda. You see, guys? The, the gravity on Mobius is like, t- like 25% stronger than the gravity on here on Earth. So you're gonna have to build up extra speed from a spin dash or a peel out in order to get that per- stick to land thing to make the jump. Or else you're not or you're not making that jump at all. If you even try to go old school and don't use either and you're just building all that speed for nothing except missing the jump and then falling into an endless abyss. Yeah. If that wasn't excruciating enough, the boss is just as bad. And you're about to be... Yeah. You've fought your way through countless amounts of idiotically insane, impossible challenges even getting to the boss by literally just bouncing around in a pinball, slamming into every bumper you see, and and falling to death with this back into the uh, the ballast pit with at the with the rotating platform thingies. Thanks a lot, Sega. And now you're about to be squished and pogoed on Eggman if you manage to get is to leave only one prong standing. Yeah. There's no way noobs are gonna get past that one without Drainer. They're gonna be dead baby dead in five tries. And he mostly dead inside too. But it'll take four tries just to kick his butt and he, yeah. Guess what you get? What spin ball times four plus Eggman? A kicked Robotnik. It feels so good when you knock him out. And yeah, that's my opinion on Sonic CD. Comment below if you have a different opinion and which game I should review next, or leave some questions down below. And until next time, it's NemusYTG. Sign out!